you who know us, uh, sun, sand and sea. Uh, year long we have some events which I'll talk about. Um, we have actually a very interesting experiential dining. Uh, earlier Adrian and Shrita mentioned about the Indian consumer or the Indian traveller being very interested in immersive type experiences. Uh, so that's something we offer. Uh, theme attractions, uh, for example USS, uh, Southeast Asia Aquarium, I'm sure you're familiar with those. Uh, night activities, we've got hotels on the island. Um, and the beauty of it is that we are kind of like an island uh, in a city, right? So Singapore is a big city uh, and we are an island that's just a couple of minutes away uh, and it's really accessible. Um, and we're really pleased that uh, in last year, during uh, 2017, uh, we were named the best Singapore destination in the Tripzilla Excellence Award. Uh, so that's uh, something that we're really pleased about. A um, couple of facts and figures. So Sentosa size-wise is about 5 square kilometres, so that's about 480 hectares. Um, so what we call ourselves is that we are uh, you know, a place where the fun is all packed in one small spot, yeah, because <laughs> we're not very big. Um, we're about half a kilometre away from the mainland, 20 minutes away from Changi Airport, so really accessible by buses, by coaches. Um, we've got three beaches, uh, you know, uh, and it spans about three kilometres of the island. Uh, 17 hotels, over 100 dining destinations on this little island. Um, 28 attractions, uh, and this is something that not many people know, but we've actually got free roaming peacocks on the island. We've probably got about 150 to 200 of them. So when you come on the island, you know, peacocks are just, uh, you know, free roaming about. Um, and I'll talk a little bit about uh, Sentosa and India's, the Indian Traveller's Love Affair. Yeah? Uh, India is really, is, is what Shrita mentioned, similar to wildlife reserves. Uh, India is Sentosa's top source market. Um, so you are very important to us. Uh, and, and that's one of the reasons why I'm here as well, uh, to meet the trade, uh, working with STV as well, uh, and to meet the other partners. Uh, about, so the Indian tourists make up about more than 20% of the tourists who visit Sentosa. So that's really important to us. Uh, and similar to STB mirroring STB's numbers, uh, our growth rate has been very strong. I won't give you the numbers, but our growth rate has been very strong. Um, so we're really pleased with that as well. Uh, pleased with the Indian support. Yeah? Um, and I can share a few observations about the Indian guests who come on the island. Um, and I tried to make this easy for you to remember, so I tried to have uh, you know, three Vs. V, yeah? So the first is the Indian guests love variety, yeah, uh, and, and we do have products that, that uh, cater to that love for variety. We've got 28 attractions, uh, 100 over dining outlets, although I know that uh, apart from um, attractions and all, uh, but the Indian guests also love your authentic local Indian food. Uh, so in, in terms of variety for food, not so important to y'all, um, but we do have some uh, uh, authentic local Indian food there. So that's the first B. Second B, value. You guys can sniff a value from far, you know. So I was looking at some research and all, um, and I realized that there was this uh, article that said that 29% uh, that the Indians are the most committed deal seekers. 29% uh, of people actually, or the Indian travelers, uh, actually are called deadline fighters. So what they do is that they will book different options and then wait for the deadline to expire, and then before the deadline expires, they get the best one and they go for it. Uh, so that's, that's from an article that I read. Um, and then the last one, is, the last B is about visibility. So when the Indian travellers travel, what I found out from the article was also that the Indians post the most on Facebook. <laughs> okay, you're, you're smiling and you're nodding, so you probably realise that. And the stats I got was that about, uh, for one trip pre and post and the whole trip, the Indians post about 10 times on Facebook. Uh, versus an average of maybe five or six times for the rest of the Asia markets. Uh, so I thought these three Vs are something that's quite interesting that I'll share with you guys. Yeah. Okay, I'll go on to uh, Sentosa's new array of offerings. Okay, so we have, uh, I'm sure you're familiar with Luch. Uh, we've got two brand new tracks that has come up. So in total, we've now got four tracks. Uh, the, tra the new tracks are about 600 over meters long. Uh, so they give you a different experience. Mm -hmm. And on top of these two new tracks, uh, they also have this thing called a sky ride chair lift. Uh, again, that is uh, something that, uh, you know, you're lifted up and you can see, you can get a great view. Mm -hmm. But what's also important is that the sky ride chair lift uh, actually cuts down the queuing time. So during a peak hour, uh, the, the queuing time is about one and a half hours. So that's terrible for a guest, right? But with this uh, sky ride chair lift, it actually cuts the queuing time to about 30 minutes uh, because it's a very, very popular attraction. 
Yeah, so this is something uh, worth uh, visiting, uh, and I think will appeal to many of the more adventurous, uh, you know, younger people. Yeah. Uh, the other one, again, a popular attraction with Indian tourists is Madame Tussauds. They just launched a new segment sometime December, I think, uh, December of last year. They have this Marvel 4D experience. It's a 4D theater, about a 10 minute long film, but you actually get different uh, you know, experiences. So 4D, you get water jets spraying at you and stuff like that during that 10 minute film. Uh, and it of course features the, the famous uh, Marvel uh, you know, icons like Spider-Man, Iron Man, uh, Captain America and all. Uh, and this is our latest edition, uh, opened sometime in October of last year, uh, the only bungee jump in Southeast Asia, I think. Yeah, 50 meters tall, 17 stories, uh, and that's, that's the highlight, but apart from that, uh, there's also a giant swing and a vertical skywalk. Um, how many of you have tried bungee jumping? Wow. Okay, brief, brief. <laughs> You've got to visit us someday. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to show you a video and, and after I see this lady doing it, I'm like, no way am I doing it. 